John, what's your reaction to the uh, announced plans by Senator Bond not to run for re-election again, and what do you think about successors? Well, I was shocked. I uh, fully expected Kit Bond to run for re-election. I uh, was planning uh, to be part of his re-election team, and uh, looking forward to it, I think he would have done very well. Uh, I just got out of the field last month with a survey that showed Kit Bond having a 58% approval rating uh, among the Missouri electorate. So I was very surprised uh, about the announcement today. Uh, what I think you're going to see is a, a field open up for a lot of potential candidates. There are a lot of strong Republican candidates who uh, are going to take a serious look at this seat. Among them would be uh, people like former Senator Jim Talent, uh, Congressman Roy Blunt, who served two terms in statewide office as Secretary of State. You've got Congresswoman Joanne Emerson from Cape Girardeau. Uh, Congressman Sam Graves from up in northwest Missouri is another potential candidate. Peter Kinder, the lieutenant governor, I think will take a, a hard, serious look at this contest, as will uh, State Treasurer Sarah Steelman, who's stepping down uh, later this week, actually, or next week, I guess, uh, as State Treasurer. Uh, there are other people who are very prominent. Kenny Hulsoff, who just ran for governor, I think would be a candidate potentially, uh, as would Catherine Hannaway, the U.S. attorney who's leaving office uh, shortly uh, and is a former Speaker of the House of Representatives. And I wouldn't count out someone uh, completely on the outside, like an Ann Wagner, uh, who had been the chairman of the Missouri Republican Party and has been, for the last four years, the U.S. ambassador to Luxembourg. Uh, there's a host of strong, viable Republican candidates that are going to take a serious look at this seat, and it's going to be very interesting uh, for the people of Missouri as we go forward into this election year.